What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerdy Report. My name is Pablo. Joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, Deadpool. We didn't get a chance. I think we spoke about it right before the trailer came out. I didn't really get a chance to speak to a lot of people regarding the trailer, Brian, and how they felt about it. So, I, I although it, it broke some records in terms of views, I don't quite feel the excitement for the movie yet. Brian, what are your thoughts on what you thought of the, the trailer? There were some cool spots, but nothing too revealing. And I was pretty much unimpressed because I just saw more of the same still TBD on what we'll be seeing and what will be seen in this movie. Your thoughts? I think that might have been the goal, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, I think this was one of those... It's been long enough since Deadpool 2. I think maybe the goal in Disney hands was to make sure it still felt like a Deadpool movie. And I think they succeeded in that. I mean, I think the main tenets that we've come to expect in terms of how the action is stylized and staged, that looked very much of a piece of Deadpool 1 and 2. Uh, Ryan Reynolds' irreverence and fourth wall breakage obviously was there. It's very clear we're going to be spending a lot of time making fun of Disney and making fun of the MCU as Deadpool comes into the MCU. And I think that was to be expected as well. Um, I do think the TVA presence was very, being very heavy in this trailer was obviously at least interesting. I mean, that's been because of the Loki series. I think it's been one of the better done elements that we've added yeah. to the MCU in the last couple of years. So I think seeing that front and center, and I know the reports are that Mobius is in this, even though he wasn't shown. Um, so I think that was made sense for how you kind of traverse back and forth between the Fox X-verse and what probably will be the, the, the Marvel X-verse. But yeah, I think it, I, my sense is people liked what they saw, were kind of happy with what they saw. And it was kind of like, Linus's blanket, you know, it's sort of like it's just the security and the safety and the familiarity of something that has been successful as generally people like. I'm kind of with you. I was hoping for that one element or that one tease that felt like it was truly new and different. And obviously they held back everything Wolverine except for like a silhouette and a profile. But we really didn't get that one sort of eye-opening, this is Deadpool 3 separating from Deadpools 1 and 2. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing with the movie. I didn't see enough, and again, that was probably the purpose of it, but still, it was a bit of a letdown for what we've been waiting for for such a long time, and Marvel has been uh, in a much needed place of uh, garnering excitement for one of their properties, and I don't think this one did it, but if this is Marvel Jesus. Well, I don't think we can say it didn't get there, though. I mean, obviously, the download count, the view, they got eyeballs. I mean, by doing it in the Super Bowl and people. Because it was you know, expected, the, Brian. Everyone yeah. was waiting for this. Yeah, I'll get it. But I'm saying, like, I mean, they, if their point was they wanted to be in the conversation coming out of the big game, they were. I mean, I think that that was achieved. I think, you know, Hugh Jack, see, the, the promotional parts that I like and that, not that I like, but I expect from them was like what Hugh Jackman did afterwards, right? Where he, they reveal the title to be Deadpool and Wolverine. And then he goes on, he goes on social media and crosses that out and it says it's Wolverine and a-hole. And he's like, fixed it, right? I mean, that's the kind of stuff we expect from these two guys. And that will, that will obviously help build up the opening weekend. I'm also glad we didn't see, you know, I kind of, <laughs> I was laughing because we got a shot of Pyro, um, Aaron Stanford from, uh, from, from Last Stand. And I was like, if you want to know where you stand on the cameo list, the <laughs> fact that you were the only one shown in the Super Bowl ad means you at the bottom. <laughs> like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> They, well, they felt right. like it wasn't even worth it. We could put you and spoil you out six months early, and it's fine. So, yeah. no, no, no offense to Aaron Stanford, but I just thought that was amusing that he was literally the only, the only one who got shown of of the old crew. And I didn't even notice it, Brian, because again, I wasn't really looking. I was looking for much more than what they showed, and uh, they didn't really give a hint of anything to look forward to but uh, I guess there's more to see obviously and we'll have to wait and see what they have to offer 
Well, I'm glad they didn't show a lot of Wolverine, though, to be honest. Like, Certainly. If, if, if we had seen, like, some polished shots of the beach fight, I would have been kind of sad. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to see that. Keep that under wraps. I know there will be a full trailer coming where we probably will see more than we want to see. Yeah. But I, I was fine with the teasing of Wolverine or Wolverines, I guess we have to yes. say, because that rumor won't go away that yes. Hugh is not the only one playing this character in this movie. And who knows in the trailer, since we saw shadows and silhouettes, are we sure it was Hugh Jackman's Wolverine we were seeing? No, I don't think so. But that, 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 it, there is the intrigue, right? Of what is it that we're seeing? I think the Marvel Disney thing, they got to be careful. I think that that has the feel of something that would be like very funny the first couple of times. And then if they pound that, for two hours, it's going to get really old. Oh, certainly. Like really fast. And that is a concern. That is a concern when pretty much Ryan Reynolds films that is going to get old pretty fast with the jokes and stuff like that. And the, you know, it's, it's, again, I still don't, I still know nothing. I, I'm trying not to know nothing. Um, I was just hoping to see a little bit more, uh, not necessarily reveals of any cameos and things of that nature, Brian, but I don't know. I just felt like I got more of the same. You know, I, I want to save maybe the details of the, the action for another show I think we're talking about doing, but I did want to ask you because we did get a few, you know, they're supposed to be kind of zinger type shots of Deadpool kind of like reloading the gun and super yeah, yeah, slow mo and like, so my question is, that is obviously very true to the spirit of Deadpool 1 and 2 action sequences. My question is, when Deadpool 1 came out, we're now approaching almost 10 years, you know, 7, 8 years since that movie came out. Does that still hold the same impact? Like, if they just kind of restage that style of action in this movie, does it, because of the brand of Deadpool, is that good enough? Or do they almost need to put figure out a way to push that or shoot that differently at points in the movie for it to still be cool i don't know brian because we see so many movies that attempt action sequences that just feel the same over and over again and that everybody is capable of these feats and stuff it's just getting old yeah Argyle, you saw it, Ryan. I yeah, I want to say, I want to say, I want to save that detail. But like, my point is, when we saw Deadpool do this for the first time, we hadn't seen all those other, a lot of those other movies yet, and this wasn't the mainstream way that action was shot. So I think there was this element of like, wow, this actually looks and feels very different than what we're getting from at the time from where the MCU was and yeah. certainly where the DCU was, the old DCU was. And so now it, when I see those scenes, I'm like, to your point, I can rattle off eight, nine, 10 movies that shoot scenes somewhat similar to that. And so I'm guessing I'm wondering is like, yeah, do they, do they do it better? Or because it's Deadpool, are people more receptive to it? Or is it going to feel old if, if we get there and that's the way these fights all kind of look? It could get old, Brian. Um, I, th I think this movie will certainly be driven by some of the action sequences, but I'm sure uh, people will be, are going to be looking forward to how this story is told and uh, whether it's entertaining or not. I'm sure the entertainment part is going to be uh, there. Uh, and that's what I... And that is what I think they're banking on, Brian. The event of it all, the cameos, mm -hmm. um, the, the action sequences may not necessarily involve only Deadpool, right? So we'll see some more stuff from other people. Hopefully we see a cool Wolverine sequence. I don't know. There's a lot to see. We only saw a piece, which was uh, dope. How much of that? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. You also got obviously the one of the Easter eggs that's getting a lot of play is the the very brief shot of the Secret Wars comic with Doom on the cover, uh, making a very brief appearance in the trailer. W with a movie like this, I'm hesitant to call that a true Easter egg because I could see them throwing that in there as a ha ha and just kind of putting people off the scent. But do you read anything into that? I have to say, Brian, that if they're going into Secret Wars, Doom is a part of it, and 
that could be a tease, Brian. I mean, that's all. This is what uh, the MCU pretty much was all about, all the Easter eggs and the possibilities and stuff like that. So all you can say is that there is a possibility that Doom will be there. Uh, and who will be there? Who will be Doom? Who knows? Maybe a person we spoke about very, very long time ago, Brian, but thought it was unlikely. I because know. We don't, because we don't think he's capable of pulling, pulling that off. But we'll see. So I tend to I tend to agree with you. I mean, I guess, yeah, to your point about capable of pulling it off, a lot of this is on Ryan Reynolds. I mean, if you believe the history, and I, and I won't talk about it actually in one of, I think, of our other shows, if you believe the history about how Deadpool came to be after its utter failure as part of X-Men Origins Wolverine, a lot of the creators basically point to Ryan and sort of say, like, it was him. Like, it basically was his sheer force of will and his vision and the way he played the character that basically made this work the way it has. You know, we're not used to seeing Disney hand over the keys um, to someone in that fashion. But a, a lot of this may, it, it, but to the extent they did, a lot of this really may genuinely depend on whether he can do it. Like he can give something that is a level up from what it was before. And he he is, from an, like, as I said, from a sort of classic memorable perspective, I don't know. But from an entertainment value perspective, he's had a pretty hot hand. I, I can't argue with the success that he's had with a lot of the things that he's worked on the last few years, even if I don't personally consider them greats in, in yeah. the genres that he's, he's, that he's participated in. He's a very smart individual, a very business savvy guy. And, uh, Hey, you made Deadpool for how much the first time around? Oh, that was like a 60, it was sub 100. It was like 60, yes. 70, mil, 60, 60 70 million dollar movie. And it made what? Rated, obviously, 720, 725. That's a return like a mo. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And so they're banking on that, his business savvy and his marketing skills to get those numbers up. Uh, so yeah, this is his show, Brian. This is his show, and it's crazy to think that Kevin Feige got. Uh, I don't know if I would have. I would go so far as to say desperate, but uh, it's just a interesting situation. That's all. Well, I think you know the first two, you know, the second one in particular. I mean, the opening weekends were triple figures, right? We're talking about. 128, like that type of opening weekend. Like this movie, North, I mean, they are, they got to be aiming for 160. I know it's R rated, but like 160, 175, like that's the level they're probably going to need to be at. And how much do you think they're making? How much are they making this for? Oh, the budget on this, I'm sure, is 200. I, I guarantee it is at this point. Okay. So I think. You know, but they're looking at as we can get that domestic opening weekend in that 160, 175 range, and then you get the global open 350, 320, 350. Okay, now, and then we got good. Now we're a lock probably to get over 700. And if we got good word of mouth, then we can make a run at your 900, maybe, even, maybe, maybe outside chance threaten that billion dollar range. Obviously, R rated movies, very, very short list that, that has reached that level. So, you know, but that's what they're thinking. So I think a lot of this is really bent on getting you out that first weekend. And then fingers crossed, you go tell your friends and you're willing to see it again. I think this is a movie, Brian, that's going to probably really do well based on just Ryan Reynolds' fan base, his marketing skills. Too bad we didn't get the Deadpool running across the field. That would have definitely, I would have definitely said that's a billion dollars. Easy. <laughs> After that. but um. I'm actually surprised because he had, you know, we were talking about the whole, the whole Dazzler rumor and people are like, well, she wasn't in the trailer. I'm like, listen, if they really wanted to do it up, Lively was next to her in the box. They should have had her put on the costume in the suite. That would have, <laughs> people would have lost their minds. Be like, and only us would have known like who that was. All the, all the yeah. other regular Swifties yeah, would have been yeah, like, well, yeah, what is our yeah. hero doing? <laughs> the comic book fans would have been like, she's in the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, any anything else, Brian? Before we wrap this one up? No, I'm kind of with you. Like, even though I, I feel like it was, it checked the boxes, 
But for where we want to be with this film, we're not there yet. That's kind of yeah. how I'd sum it up. Yeah, 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 definitely. Let us know in the comments section below what you guys think of the Deadpool trailer. Um, did, and not necessarily let us know what you guys thought of the Deadpool trailer, but did it, ex did it meet the expectation in terms of the level of excitement that this movie is supposed to bring? Did it give that to you? Let us know in the comments section below, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. The show goes on! Yeah.